नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू अवर टेक्निकल चैनल फ्रॉम गणेश पाइपिंग टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी शॉर्ट एपिसोड एंड वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर द प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आर फेस्ड एट साइट बाय द साइट पीपल एंड ऑफ कोर्स द डिजाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग टीम शुड आल्सो बी अवेयर ऑफ uh the calculations which will help to solve these problems uh, we are going to see a very uh, simple calculation but it is very important uh, as far as uh, the, its application is related uh, is concerned uh, we are going to see pipe fitting calculation which is related to elbow all of us are aware that wherever there is a change of direction for a pipe we need an elbow so let us move on and see what this calculation is all about so uh, before we begin with the calculation we will see uh, different types of elbows that are used in uh, the project elbows generally are used uh, which are used are 45 degree elbow and 90 degree elbow so uh and moving to the next level elbows can also be classified depending on the end connection for example if the end connection of elbow is butt welded then we have to use a dimension standard asme b 16.9 and if the end connection for a given elbow is socket welded then we have to use the dimension standard asme b 16.11 some of you may not be aware uh, what this dimension standard is so for for them uh, dimension standard is a standard book available uh, in market by this uh, particular uh, asme b 16.9 uh, these are the authorities uh, where you get a standard dimensions for a given elbow like uh, if i am going for a 6 inch elbow with a thickness of say 40 schedule so for 40 schedule 6 inch elbow made of carbon steel so following dimensions will be applicable so those dimensions are explained here what these dimensions are that is d and this is the a a is the leg length or the dimension of the radius okay which we can see so this dimension is very important uh, whenever you have some higher sizes like 8 inch 10 inch 12 inch or maybe for stainless steel up from starting from small bore sizes also so if you have a piping and uh, it is very important that you remove the when you are calculating the pipe length you have to remove the fitting length which is a so why you you have to remove the fitting length because if you consider the fitting length then you will get extra pipe which is a kind of a, a wastage so in a, a order to avoid the wastage uh, it is always desirable that uh, you have proper estimation for pipe length and for that you require this dimension a which is very important for the shop floor people who are fabricating the pipe spools so today we are going to see how you can calculate this a without even measuring it only by understanding this thumb rule calculation if you are uh, if you know the size of the pipe maybe 6 inch 8 inch 14 inch 24 inch whatever and if you know the basics of this calculation you can estimate a this calculation is very important for design and engineering team too because though they are the one people uh, who are going to uh, who are going to calculate the mto and the pipe lengths on the right side of the fabrication isometric piping isometric so without wasting the time uh, we will straight forward go to the calculation so here you can see there is a drawing which explains 
the different nomenclatures for the elbow this is the t is the thickness which is derived from the schedule of the pipe if suppose the pipe schedule is say uh, 40 schedule then correspondingly we have to go for uh, the thickness of the elbow which is matching to the pipe schedule secondly the other one is the diameter so the pipe diameter is say 6 inch then the 6 inch elbow will be applicable so now our the aim of our calculation is to estimate this a which is the leg length starting from the center point to the <coughs> so uh, as we understand there are two types of elbows which are generally in the market one is the long radius elbow all the normal piping is a long radius elbow uh, in that case in that case a is equal to 1.5 times of d and please remember that this d which we are going to consider should always be in nps that is in inches like as you are aware that pipes are spare the size of pipe is specified in nps that is nominal pipe size which is the inches 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch and so on and the other one is the nominal bore size that is a metric that is 50 NB which is equivalent to 2 inch, 80 NB which is equivalent to 3 inch and so on. So please remember that when you are using the formula A is equal to 1.5 times D, D should always be in inches that is NPS. Okay? And for the short radius elbow, uh, this formula is A is equal to 1 times B. Okay, uh, the short radius elbows are not frequently used in piping except for the outer elbow of a jacket piping, it is a short radius elbow. And in case of <clears throat> this formula for calculating the leg length, that is the fitting length which is to be minus which is to be subtracted while you are estimating the pipe length uh, this particular a can in case of beds which are used in pigging operation the same formula a is equal to 1.5 times d can be used however 1.5 times is can be 3 times D or maybe 5 times D or maybe 6 times D. So for pigging, uh, the elbows are generally greater than 1.5 times, maybe 2 or 3 or 5. So now move, let's move to the next slide and here we can we will actually calculate the leg length and then we will verify with the chart <coughs> which is on the right side. You can see uh, these values of A which are mentioned in the chart are directly taken from the dimension standard ASA may be 16.9. So let us take the 2 inch size for 2 inch NPS that is 50 NB size A will be 1.5 times D so 1.5 into 2 will be equal to 3. So this 3 is in inches now we have to convert this uh, 3 inch into millimeter. So multiply 3 by 25.4, the value will be 76.2. But we have rounded up to 76. Here you can see for 2 inch it is 76, which is the leg length. So you may have a doubt why not 77? Because if the it is 76.4 Four, then round it up to 76 if it is 76.52 then round it up to 76 if it is 76.58 then round it up to 77 so we have to keep in mind that if it is less than 0.5 then it should be on the lower side so now let's go to, let's see the next calculation uh, next uh, calculation for the next size that is 6 inch nps uh, which is equivalent to 150 nb size that is in metric 
So A is again 1.5 times D. So 1.5 uh, times of 6 is 9. <coughs> so 9 into 25.4 is 20 to 28.6. So here it is greater than 0.5. So we have we can now round it up to the next uh, value which, which is 229 so when we verify this 6 inch it is 229 we can see here so this is a very important and uh, interesting calculation so uh, there are many cases uh, where I have worked personally at sites and I found that many experienced people are confused in this calculation some of them even don't don't even know this calculation there are some people who know this calculation but they are confused whether the d should be in inches or in millimeter some were using millimeter and the value was uh, wrong so please uh, try to understand this calculation and watch i thank you for watching this video till end and don't forget to share this video we will be back with such interesting videos on very crucial and important topics for engineering and technology so stay connected with us thank you once again